Hey, guess who we have back, Gumby Jean? We have who? We have Hulk. Hulk. Hulk is back. Welcome back, Hulk. Okay, I got your tongue, Hulk. Oh, you got me. You're be live. I'm, okay. Don't be camera shy. You're live on video. You're okay if we video your procedure for all our friends on YouTube and on the internet around the world? Yes, sir. You've got something going on with your left forearm here. How long you had that? Oh, about two weeks. Two weeks. When did it really start getting red and angry like this? About a week ago. About a week ago. All right, now has it drained at all? No. Okay, I see you have a kind of a, a dark black spot in the middle there. Was that, that there from the beginning? That dark spot's been there pretty much from the beginning. All right, we suspect this is some kind of a spider bite. You know, we've been warm enough for people to get out and start working outside and that kind of thing. Is that your case? That is correct. What were you doing, chopping wood? Uh, that's what I was doing, chopping firewood. Okay, chopping some firewood and you didn't notice that you got bit or anything and that's pretty typical for a brown recluse right and certain other yeah. spiders but mostly it's the recluse we worry about they deliver a cytotoxic bite which uh, causes uh, necrosis of the skin and oftentimes will inject also some bacteria in there which leads to an abscess which is what I believe you have here you have an abscessed spider bite have you had any fevers or chills? I've had fever in that arm for the last several days. That, mm -hmm. that whole forearm is really, right. really hot. But, but no far, shaking, no, chills, nothing no, like that? No. Okay. All right, we're going to give you a little numbing medicine. This will be the hard part. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Gummy Jean, did you give him some raw hide to bite down on? No. He, he's the Hulk. <laughs> he's the God Hulk, sense. right? He's, yes. he's just Hulk, not the Hulk. Oh, that's he's right. Hulk. Hulk. Hulk yeah. doesn't need it. We're they, gonna they get us confused all the time. We're I gonna, know it. We're going to spray a little, yeah, you get confused with the whole coffee. <laughs> we're going to spray some cold spray. There we go. And you're going to get a little, what's he going to feel? Six thing in a burn. That's right. So let's inject this and see if we can get you some pain relief here. We're going to take this slow so we can get the medicine in and then we'll be able to open this up and drain it. The objective here is for me to do this without this uh, gaining a lot of pressure and then spewing its contents all over Gumby. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that, right? Well, it is coming out a little bit right there. That's okay, though. Put a little bit more in here. What kind of work you do, Mr. Hulk? I work for the oil field I'm in quality control. Is that right? Yeah. Now, is that with, you know, once the product has already been refined? So, like with gasoline? No, this is actually with the tools that we make all the tools to go get to. Ah, no kidding. What do you think of fracking? It seems to be kind of a hot topic. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering about that myself. It's the more yeah. you hear about it, it's causing issues. It's what it's starting to sound like. So we know that it may cause some kind of environmental impact, and uh, so the question then becomes: it really is it worth it? Is you know the kind mm -hmm. of gain loss um, deal? I believe what we put a full CC in there. Yes. Gumby Jean. Okay, so that's one CC of. Uh, Lidocaine with epinephrine that's buffered. Did it hurt much going in? No, it didn't. Burn okay. a little bit, but not much. A little sting, a little burn. Right. Stick, sting, and a burn is as gone so Just like she said. Yeah. <laughs> so the wound cut will help us determine if the antibiotic that we're giving you today is the right antibiotic. Okay. okay. So we're going to make an educated guess, and we're going to get you started on a good antibiotic as well as give you a little shot of antibiotic medicine today. Uh, when the culture results come in by the end of the week, we may be calling and saying, hey, we need to change based okay. on the results. Because we can guess which bacteria this is, but we don't know for sure until we get the, you know, something that grows on a petri dish. Right. You ready? We're going to make a little incision. Gummy Jean, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. This is a number 11 blade. Just making an incision. That hurt much? Nope. All right. It's so, a blade. All right. So, Ooh, Gummy, can you get in there and get that culture going? There you go. Go ahead and push it down in. There you oh, go. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's it. That hurt a little bit? You felt that? No, he just felt it. He put you on a little bit there. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and squeeze this out now. Hopefully this won't hurt you a whole lot. Take a deep breath just in case, though. You ready? There you go. Breathe. There you go. Actually, that came out pretty good. Looking better already. You okay, Mr. Hulk? Yeah, I'm doing okay. All right, now if we get a good look in there, we can see there's some gray colored material. So I think that our uh, thought process that this was probably a spider bite is more than likely correct. We're just going to open this up a little bit. We really don't want to have to shove packing in here into the forearm. 
we'd like for this just to remain open, and it looks to me like it will stay open on its own. Gummy Jean, I think we're going to be ready for some flush. Okay. And you got you got us covered. Yep. All right. Whoa. Cool. It kind of had a life of its own. Here. <laughs> yeah, it did. It felt like I was a kid doing a science I thought it was going to right, like the volcano. That's what yeah. I was waiting for. <laughs> we got Misty in with us. Hi guys. Ooh. That one sprayed you, didn't it? I almost it got it. <laughs> that was cool. Maybe we should do it a third time. This is so much fun. <laughs> Next time it's going to go everywhere. <laughs> you see I'm hiding back here? Yeah. Well, it's bubbling everything out. That's what we yeah. want, right? I think that's going to be good. Is it hurting at all? See, now that looks so much better. And it this is. is really staying open, so I'm not going to have to put a packing in here, okay? okay so we're yeah. just going to put a dry dressing over this for you, get you your shot, your antibiotics, mm -hmm. and everything we talked about. I do want to check on this later in the week, though, make sure everything looks okay. Sure. Now, if it starts where this redness that's around here starts moving up the arm, uh -huh. you need to let us know right away. Okay. Okay, got it? Uh -huh. Otherwise, you did good. Already looks better to me. He's home. Hope we appreciate you sharing your procedure with all our friends. Okay. Tell us something. Hi, I'm Suzanne, and I take Dr. G's Meta 7. This right here? I've been taking it since, yeah. um, well, for one month, actually. Okay. And? And I really enjoy it because uh, it activates my life, just like it says. I yeah. have lots of energy. You do have more energy. And, yes. A lot and more you're energy. taking it as part of a weight loss program, right? Yes. Okay. And now we have lost some weight, but we're not going to attribute all of that to the Meta 7 because we use no. we use something else to help. But the good thing is, is while you're losing weight, you still have lots of energy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. And I like to swim, and so it's great because I can swim extra long because of the Meta 7. I, you know, I really, really enjoy it. Awesome. So, yes. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so you've been taking Cocoa Skin. Been taking Cocoa Skin and uh, Meta 7 Wonderful. for probably a year and a half now. Okay. Love them both. I highly recommend them. My skin is great. I feel moisturized. I, I'm, they're wonderful. Take your hat off for me. Oh. I want everybody to see how pretty your skin is. My hair's oily. Oh, your hair is wonderful. So, have you noticed that you've lost some crow's feet or anything like that in particular? Or A little bit, a little yeah. A bit? little bit. Okay, all right. Because you do look like I mean, you're, you're glowing almost. You have a real natural look about you. So, well, wonderful. I'm glad you're liking the Cocoa Skin and the Meta 7. I take them both. Highly mm -hmm. recommend it. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure to check out Cocoa Skin Plus for thicker nails, healthier skin, and better hair and check out Meta 7 for more energy throughout the day. There are Amazon links in the description below.